Um, so ladies and gentlemen, what we have is ace of one, ace of two, ace of three, ace of four, ace of five. But what they want us to do is they want us to find the sum, right? So we automatically know we need the sum. So Taylor, automatically, if I'm reading a problem and I'm reading sum of arithmetic sequence, then I know that I'm going to have to use this formula. Right? Right? Automatically, you read, hey, find sum. We know that here's the sum formula. We have to apply it, right? But let's look at what are the terms that we need to know. We need to know n. Well, it says 150th, so we know 150th term is going to be n. Then they say we need to know a sub 1. We got that. But now we need to know what the 150th term is. Well, that's kind of an issue because we are only given 1, 2, 3, 4. We're only given up to 1 through 5 terms. So we can either follow the pattern and go up to 150, or we can calculate what the 150th term is. So to calculate what the 150th term is, we can go back to our formula, which said a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Right? I'm going to spoil the formula. So we don't know what a sub n is. Actually, we're going to try to figure out what uh, a sub n, but we'll try to figure out. We just want to find the rule right now. Then we'll find what um, the 150th term is. So let's go and find out what the rule is. So we know that a sub 1 is 5 plus n minus 1. And then the difference, if we notice, between each one of these terms, our difference is 11. Yes? yes. No? Maybe so? OK. Sure. So now, let's apply distributive property. So what I get is 5 plus 11n minus 11. Therefore, my rule for a sub n equals um, 11n minus 6. So that works now for any term. So now what I want to do is I want to find out what is my 150th term. So now I can say ace of 150 is equal to 11 times 150 minus 6. All right. And then we can just go ahead and plug, plug that in. Yes? This formula? No, the very bottom one. This? Oh, the very last thing you wrote. This? No, the very last thing you wrote. What we're doing is we're trying to find the 150th term. I need to figure out. The difference six? Huh? Is the difference six? Yes, the difference. No. No, it's 11. When I apply distributive property, I get net 5 plus 11 and minus 11. 5 minus 11 is negative 6. So the difference is 11, but for your rule, remember when we did a rule, I gave you the rule and I said find the first four terms, right? Now, by doing this, I found the rule. Here is the rule of this sequence. I found the rule of the sequence. But guess what? I didn't have to guess and check like we've done before. I plugged the values into the formula because it was an arithmetic sequence, so I could figure out the equation. So I plug the values into the formula and said find my rule. Now that I know the rule, I need to find my nth term, which is the 150th term. So now I plug in 150, a sub 150, and I plug in 150 in for n. So therefore I get what, 1644? Yeah. So the 150th term equals 1644. So now what they're asking me to do is find the sum of 150 terms. That means I'm adding all of these terms. Well, I can't just keep on adding them, ladies and gentlemen. But what I can do is say, well, there's 150 terms divided by 2. I now know the, fir well, I know the first term is 5. And I now know the last term is 1,644. Okay, so you do your math, you carry your 1, and you get 123,675. And there you go. All right? There you go.